Alright. I sit up again. If anybody can see, please let me know. If anybody can hear me, at least let me know. Oh, I didn't even get to the cool stuff, which is the pressure game. I talked enough about the combos. Now to what I consider the toughest part of playing FC Fuku, but probably the most important part, and that's her pressure game. Like mentioned earlier, like like mentioned earlier, as for F moon characters. You have to use your frame advantage to your advantage. I know, right? Like her frame, the frame advantage for F1 characters is very important because they don't have any way to like cancel a C move into an A move. So, like to boil it down, like to put it as simple as possible, your goal, and this goes into the gameplay with the pressure because it kind of works in tandem with it. Like with FC Fuku, your goal is to knock them down and put a ring on them, like this. And start, like, forcing them to do stuff. Like, forcing them to guess, are you gonna be up, can you be low, and all that jazz. That's how it works. And the main way of doing that is to force them to block, just like this. Like, I have the AI to, like, alright. Once they can, they'll hit the A button. Just put them crouch because you're most likely going to be crouching. Your main way of doing this is to press like 2A, 5A slowly. Like, and slow enough so that when they get hit, like when they block, you hit a button again so they get hit again. You're basically frame cut. And when you can, like, do stuff. Like that. The way you do, like, there's three main ways of, like, but of course you can't, like, you can't just do this forever. You gotta, like, you can't just do this. Now you're out. Now they can get to move and shit, right? So what do you do? Is it like you have three ways of resetting, like three main ways that I think you should really focus on when you're doing this. One is riskier than the other. One, like they are less guaranteed. None of these are actually guaranteed. But if the opponent respects you enough, they're not pressing buttons like the AI does right now. Like, like if they're not pressing buttons, you can like start to do stuff. But, like, the best, but also the riskiest, is, like, to do block string into 256A. The problem with it is that, like, this has too much startup compared to what you're doing. So, if I do this, If I try to, oh. 
Like, if I try to do stuff, like do a block string like this, ending in 236C, like, I'll just get hit. Just like this. That's where, like, stuff like 214 and kind of. That's why where 214 and IED receipts come in. Man, I gotta wrap this up quick. Alright. This is your main way. There is a way around it. Like this. If you do like a 2C, cancel into your ring, but cancel the ring into an EXDP, which has the most invulnerability of all. <coughs> oh. Damn. Damn. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let me just cut my breath. Fuck. <coughs> Alright. You can make your, like, 2v6a approach a whole lot safer by cancelling your. Let's just put the, like, the meter into normal. Just so you know. Like, you can make your approach super safe. Because this carries the risk of them doing a 2C on you. At the cost of meter, of course. And you're free to get in again. So, doing this basically guarantees a reset. While stuff like this can, like, basically a meterless reset you also have like the meter versions for like 21 like 214 C basically a meter version of like 214 A Meter, but you're plus and you're but right back in their faces. But probably one of you is going to ask why I just do this all the time. Because anything. I don't know. I have seen people like ruin this. This is not. Like the 256E into EXDP. It's a very good tool, like it will almost in a almost any case like guarantee that you'll start your pre you'll start your pressure again. But there has been like cases because as of now the ring has only just begun to start up. And I'm not thrown vulnerable during this. If you are if you really know what I am Adam if you really know that I'm going to do this you can like um, yeah. like, I've run into a situation where my EXDP hasn't hit them yet because they are fast enough to run past the e past, run past the ring before they could hit me, before I could hit them, and basically grab me out of it. It has happened, so it's something to like take note of. Another way of like maintaining pressure is to do like 2 to b again. Stop the opponent from just jumping out. That is, is if you space yourself correctly. Because if you are just a tad too far, if it was like, I'll guarantee you, this will not stop them from jumping. Alright, it just did. Fuck. But, 
being too far away when doing the 2-2-B into 2-B, like you link that, like they, they can actually get away with jumping out of it. Alright, let's just, let's just wrap this up before I'm like, get too tired or some shit like that. Alright. To shortly summarize, like, what she can do, like, to just summarize why you should play her, like, during, to start your pro, to start your OK, which can let, like, all sorts of stuff, use her good ground normals to start pressure and all this, and all this fluff is there, and it's I'm getting rambly now, but, to, like, conclude it. I'd say, alright, if I were to put it like into pros and cons and reasons why you should and reasons why you should not, I can probably list the reasons why you should play her. If you want to play a character that is really, really, that has, I'd say, some of the strongest OK game with one tool in the entire game, then play FC Fuku because she has that. If you want to play a character that it has good ground normals and is very good, is like really good at controlling the ground using her specials and her excellent like 2C and shit, then FC Fuku is someone like you, is someone for you. If you like someone who is like, to me, very much fundam like a fundamental character to work with, aside from 236, like. You have to use uh, you have to use basic stuff like basic pressure, fundamental pressure to really be good with it. Reasons why you should like, and the reasons why you should not play her. Right, FC Fuku has this inherent flaw that again, she has to either get damage or OK. And only with like a complicated combo as like, like, and only with a complicated combo such as like the two two A loops can she really have like a middle ground between this. So if you like to play characters that like have a combo and can just run a train on the opponent using that one combo, take C arc for example, Crescent arc. Like Crescent arc can hit you with one combo, do sixty percent and be ready to like hit you again with her Oki. Okay. It's not going to be as strong as FC Fuku's Oki, okay, but she is less reliant on it. FC Fuku relies on her Oki okay because she lacks the damage. She lacks that running on a train on the opponent to really win a match. You have to have a series of good Oki okay and good like mix-ups to win a match with her. You can't win a match, you can't win a match on a single hit. Um, another re other reasons why you shouldn't be picking on uh, like FC Fuku over other characters, like air game, like like I said with the, my uh, bit on uh, FC Fuku's normals, they're horrible. Like air normals are absolute shit. Like they're crap. They're not important. Like these, they're good for air to ground approaches, but they're not good for anything else aside from her jumping A. But that jumping A can lose to anything. Like, I think Seal, in many cases, can beat, like, FC Fuku's jumping A. And that's her only, like, air-to-air -air move. The rest is just air-to-ground. Um, is there anything else before I just wrap this up? I think that was about it. Like... Alright, I hope hopefully somebody's still listening to me. Otherwise, I feel like a goddamn idiot. But like, alright, there's probably been things I've missed. But um, if you'd like to contact me, feel free to do so because I think that's the best way I can like explain things outside of this little video streaming thing I'm doing right now like the intricacies of how to play her the 
different kinds of situations and I don't really have the time tonight to go into very specific stuff and I'm probably not that good at showing it. But with that said, I'll bid to whoever still listening to me a good night and I'll probably be seeing you in a match somewhere, somewhere. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. But yeah, you could be able to have a good night. I'm signing off. See ya, folks.